Good morning, friends. Today is Tuesday, and it is, oh, I don't know. It's like, oh, hey, August 7th. Um, so I did make a video last week, and I didn't post it because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was a very good video. Sorry. So I will give you kind of my gist of last week, this week. Um, I believe last week when I made my video, I was weighing in at like 169. Sorry, I think I got a mosquito bite in the truck. Um, I was weighing in at like 169, so I really haven't budged. Um, this morning when I weighed in, I was 171, but I had three, um, some three cheese chicken penne last night. It wasn't very good, and I had an iced coffee yesterday, so you know, it's kind of like that roller coaster thing. Um, I still have been doing yoga, I've still been working out. Um, yesterday was probably the first day that I noticed I took my medicine at 4.30. And I hadn't eaten anything since 2. Um, that's I had a really late lunch. And then after 2 o'clock, I hadn't ate anything. And so my husband and I went on a date last night. And it was probably closer to 8 o'clock before I got to eat. I started feeling nauseated. But I had, don't think that that has anything to do with the medicine. I really, truly feel like that is something that I have always struggled with. Um, I start to get kind of... I don't know if it's low sugar or something. It'd be kind of cold and clammy and almost just feel icky. Um, but we got something to eat and I felt fine afterwards. So I haven't really had any food aversions anytime recently, nor have I had any like bad interactions with taking my medicine and then eating something and not feeling well after. Um, I've trying to been watch what I eat. Like I said, I've set my Fitbit timer, um, to seven and four thirty. That way I take it, um, before I get to work because I usually eat breakfast at work. And then I usually take it like just as I leave work. Cause that way it has time to get into my system and get going before I sit down and eat dinner. Cause I, we usually don't sit down until at least six o'clock. So that way it has time to dissolve in my system and it's not an issue with the fat. <gasps> is a mosquito. He did bite me. I felt like something was, oh, you jerk. I felt like there was something biting my back and I'm pretty sure he did. Ah. Anywho. Oh, go outside. Go outside. Ha. He's out. So that's been that. I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers because I'm sure that you guys are following along this journey because you are not um, fully like adverse into Contrave. Um, I've been taking it 20 plus weeks. I don't have an end date in sight yet. Um, I have a follow up with my doctor, I believe next month, and we're going to sit down and talk about weight loss and how I've been feeling and where I should go. Um, which is different because I have talked to other people who've said that their doctor doesn't want them to be on it, but, um, like after she lost 10 pounds. So I guess every doctor is different. Um, I have went through Ridgeway Pharmacy, so those of you that have subscribed and seen my videos before, you probably know this, but um, they're just recent questions that people have been having, so I figure maybe throw it back out there. Um, sorry, my voice is a little raspy. But anyways, I tried to order through my local pharmacy at Amir, and they wanted like $250. Um, I tried to go through Walmart. They still wanted 200 bucks. I ended up really Googling, where do people fulfill their contrave at? And um, there is a there's a mail order pharmacy called Ridgeway. I think that they do more than just contrave, but I think that they specialize in contrave. Um, and so I like called them. I had my prescription that I was able to fax over to them. Got it all set up. They mailed me my prescription. They still said that they would look in to see if insurance would cover anything. And my insurance only covered $20 a month. So if you go through Ridgeway Pharmacy, for most people, I'm not going to say all because I don't know, but it feels like for most people, because this is what they advertise, 100 bucks. it's like $99 a month or $99 a refill. And then my insurance took off 20 so every time it's like $79. That's free shipping. And it usually ships like between two to three business days. Um... Or I should say, it sh usually ships like the next business day. I usually get it in two to three business days. So as long as I have like 10 pills left, I put my order in. I usually get it before. I've never really ran out. So it seems to work well. Um, that's that. I also know if you eat high fat content when you take your medicine or if you don't allow your uh, medicine to dissolve before you eat high fat content, content um, there's some adverse reactions. For me, it was getting really nauseated. Um, but other than that, I mean, 
I've not really had any bad reactions. Um, I've had to kind of keep in check with myself, um, different things that I've been eating because it's easy to not be hungry. So you eat really high protein and not enough fiber and that can cause issues. Um, so I started getting like some fiber one bars and that's not been an issue since. And honestly, I don't even have to take them on a regular basis. If I drink coffee, that solves that. That was an adverse or if like a food aversion that I had in the beginning was coffee. I was not interested in it. I usually drink like a good, you know, two cups a day. I was not interested. I didn't want nothing to do with it. So I went through like a little headache withdrawal because I didn't like coffee in the beginning. Now I'm back to liking it. I enjoy it. Um, but I wasn't disappointed at that time. I started to drink it black because I was trying to do fasting that's been a whole different story. I haven't been fasting like I should. I really should focus on it. It's been difficult. Summers are difficult. I, any day, I can find excuses because any time of the year is going to be difficult. But summers for me are busy. Um, I Sometimes, like, I don't eat dinner like last night till 8 o'clock. So if I fasted, I wouldn't eat until 3 p.m. this afternoon. <laughs> so I don't know. You know, it's just taking it one step at a time. So I will update you with where my weigh-in is at this week on Wednesday, because that's usually my day, so tomorrow. And I know today I was 171, so let's hope I'm at 170 again, because I don't like being above 170. I, want, I don't know. Personal goal. Anyways, if you guys have questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and if you have any topics you want me to bring up, if there's like fasting or diets or things like that, I can guarantee you I've tried it all. So leave a comment. I'll talk about it. See what, you know, we can do. Lastly, before I say f farewell, I got my hair cut, like really cut and I love it. Um, I got it. I got it bleached. And next time, I think I might do all over platinum. So if you don't like it, don't be brutal because I love it. <laughs> um, with being a mom of a boatload of kids, I don't have time in the mornings because I'm tired. And so I am super happy. Honestly, my hair took me like less than 15 minutes this morning. And I call that a win. So I hope you are all having a great week. I will check back in with you tomorrow. Hopefully I'm down. Leave some comments so I have something to talk about so I don't say the same thing every day. Um, and yeah. Okay. One more thing. Sorry, I keep saying I'll let you go, but I don't. So I had a girls weekend this best weekend, which is probably why I'm up and wait because I had some wine. But anyways, I wore my bikini at a public beach and I felt good. I even messaged my sister because she posted a picture of me in my bathing suit with um, a couple other girls. And I asked her if she had photoshopped my thighs because... I don't remember my thighs being ever that slim, so non-scale victory. Whether you're up, whether you're down, be proud of who you are and where you've come from, and have a great day. Bye, guys, and thank you for watching.